Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Tommy Talk again. So we're going to talk about geese one more time, and we're going to show off our double weave geese right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so Anthony, what is the difference between a single weave and a double weave? They're thicker. No, but mm -hmm. what is the exact difference, though? They're more expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing right there. Yeah. So the big thing about it is that you wear a single weave to practice in. Okay, it's the best to practice in. You want to get a harder practice in than you wear a double weave. But your main focus to use a double weave is to use it for competition. It's to give yourself a little bit of advantage and not give your opponent an advantage. So this right here is my old Adidas double weave. And this thing is over 10 years old and it is what they call a true double weave gi. And what I mean is that this gi is actually a double weave and it's actually an IGF approved gi as well. So this gi, if I wanted to, it doesn't fit me no more. Well, it fits me to practice it, but I can't compete in it. Because the sleeves for this one come up to about like, I want to say right here. Yeah. Now, what's your best double weave you have? My best or my favorite? No, what's your best, what's the truest double weave you have right here? This, they're all the same uh, thickness, actually. Mm -hmm. you, you'll notice they're all Mizuno here. Yeah. Yeah, the difference is these two are made in Pakistan. This one's made in Japan. Yeah. This one I have is also made in Japan, but it's Kusakura. You might see it. Um, I actually have a lot of Mongolian athletes are mm -hmm. sponsored by them, so a lot of Mongolians wear this. Yeah. Um, but I really like this one. Um, it's mostly because of the new material they use. Mm -hmm. uh, you can only get this one in Japan right now. They don't ship it overseas. or okay. They started shipping this one overseas. So if you want to get this one, um, kusakura.com, they ship it to English, um, mm -hmm. English England. places. England and um, America, North America. Mm -hmm. But this one I actually went to the Mizuno store in Tokyo to get it. Um, okay. one, one other thing I want to talk about the, the double weaves is they, I mentioned in the previous video, they come in half sizes. So this is a four and a half. Um, these made in Pakistan geese, I bought it at judo tournaments mm -hmm. and they come with the top and the pants together. But when these two made in Japan geese, you have to buy the top and the pants separately, which allows you to if you have like weird body proportions like me, it allows you to have different sizes from top and bottom. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Du double weave is a more premium experience in that sense that other than it's thicker, you get to kind of choose the s size and well, um, more because, accurately. Well, because it's an advanced gi, like we said. Like this is a gi that you're going to wear at a tournament or something. It's a gi that you're going to put some investment into because this will be your competition gi. Now, with this one, it's a true double weave. Like you can see right here, I don't know if you really see that much, but how I'm like really trying to clasp the gi out. Like feel how thick that collar is. So thick. Yeah, like this collar is super thick. And it's one of the inside right now, the inside also, it feels like sandpaper. When I wear this gi without a rash guard, like I come out looking like I just got scraped up, like I had a car accident. Yeah, some Where, some of the guys here that wear that for practice, like during their wads, they grind their face across, um, their body across my face and just leave some rash mm -hmm. on my face. And so this is my favorite gi to wear. It's like one of my favorite ones to practice in when I want to practice hard. I can't wear the competition more. And this is my, this one right here is actually my Fuji double weave that I wear for competition. This is my competition gi for the most part. I have one white and one blue. This one actually has a Hollywood symbol on there, I've sewn on there. And you can tell the difference of like, this is the weave and a half. It's nowadays considered double weave, but it's actually it's a weave and a half. And look how much easier it is for me to grasp the collar on this one, how much it folds, compared to this the old Adidas true double weave. Like it's just, it's, it's just tougher. And even though this one's very thick as well and you want to wear this competition, just the old double weave, they're hard to find, you can't get them anymore. They're more expensive too. Yeah, can you even order them from Japan? You can actually. They, uh, some of the Japanese stores, you go on the website, they'll say, they call it the sensei gi, or uh -huh. like the no longer legal for competition gi. So they make all these different gis for different scenarios and they'll tell you this is not legal for competition anymore. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we didn't talk about is for the geese, if there's legal for comp judo competition, yeah. they have this little IGF approved label here. Mm -hmm. um, the current one's red. In the past, they had like blue, I think. Um, like that one's the, that one's not legal anymore. No, this is super not legal. Like so it was super not legal at all. Yeah, but the IGF gets a cut of money for each one of these sold. Yeah. So you'll see when they do the gi check at a judo tournament, they'll have this like UV light to check it to see if it's like legit. <laughs> and uh, and it's yeah. it's a quick eye test also. Like if they see this patch on your gi. They're not not going to check you, but they're less likely to check you because yep. like, okay, he's wearing, a, he's wearing an IGF approved gi, yep. therefore the measurements should all be fine. Yep. As long as your hands look good, they're pretty much fine because if it's IGF, it's all approved. Now, if I'm wearing a gi that doesn't, like, I don't think my, Fu, my Fuji competition one, my Fuji yeah. one, as you can see, is just normal black label. Yeah, my Fuji doesn't, my single, this is my Fuji single yeah. one, I've never had it. 
there's no label on there. So that means that they would do the visual test and maybe the measuring test also to make sure it's legal. But if you see the, but if you see that little patch on there, mm -hmm. they won't check you. Same thing for your belt also. Like I wear a plain black belt that just says Hollywood Judo on it. And I think yep. it's worth a plain brown belt, but he has yep. a fancier one, more expensive. Yep. But they also have black belts that are approved by the IGF as well. And if you look at that patch, then it's already approved out the measure. Because there is a little measurement too for how long your belt is supposed to be. It's not super enforced, it's more of the visual things. If it looks, if you're wearing a belt this short, <laughs> they're gonna tell you to go change your belt. But most of the time, they're not going to. Yep. Is there anything else you wanna talk about with these geese? Yeah, this is my first ski ever, um, the Fuji Single Weave. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best bang for your buck for your first ski ever. Yeah. Um, they're really tough, they're, they dry fast, um, good quality, um, they're soft, it's not hard like those. Um, I had this for like six years almost, mm -hmm. and it's still going strong. Yeah. And I wear this almost every day. So. Six years? Yeah. Over 10. Over 10, <laughs> baby, right here, yeah, all right? Yeah, these are good quality geese. Um, Sandpaper, Adidas. <laughs> so some people ask me, like, oh, what's the difference? They look the same, right? Yeah. The, the made in Pakistan versus the made in Japan. Yeah. You just notice the craftsmanship, especially here where the skirt is. Mm -hmm. You see how it's different? This is just kind of like weaved on. Yeah. This is actually sewn on kind of thing. Okay. It's higher quality looking. Mm -hmm. um, also, this one's gone through a few washes, and you can see starting the... the, the it's starting to fuzz a little bit. Yeah. Like um, this one, still not fuzzing because it's sewn on. So yeah. this, uh, these are handmade and the quality is just more uh, better. But mm. you, you get what you pay for. This is almost yeah. like 150 bucks more than this. <laughs> so. All right. So that's a little over some view of what a double weave is, what it looks like, what they used to be, what they currently are now. So if you guys have any questions, please send it us our way. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me at the Jerry underscore Juan. You can follow Anthony at Anthony Throws, both of us on Instagram. You can follow the YouTube channel itself. You can also follow us on Instagram itself under Tatami Talks. Anything else, Anthony? Well, we're good. All right. Oh, and I forgot. If you guys want to send us any emails, go ahead at tatamitalk at gmail.com. All right? All right. Till next time.